Well, absolutely. All right, now this, these are copywriting makeovers. I have a service that I do, um, I called it copy renovation for a while, and uh, what I do is that I critique people's copies using a Camtasia. Do you guys know what a Camtasia video is? It's basically, yeah, it's awesome. It's like a, a VCR in your computer. You record whatever it is that you're talking about on the screen, and they can track your mouse as you go. So what I did, do as a service is when people want just copy critiques, they'll hire me and uh, I will critique the copy in, in this Camtasia and I will load it up to my website and I will say, it's up, go. This is, this is what, what it looks like. So let me see if I have time to play. My first one is eight minutes. They're, the other two are probably too long for us to go into. Um, but this is the first one I did for a gentleman named Ken Giddens. And Ken has actually, unfortunately, passed away. He was a, an amazing internet marketer. If, if any of you are in, in the, you know who Ken is. What's that? You did? Yeah. He, really brilliant man. And um, we were going to do some work together, but it didn't turn out to work out like that. But this is, this is something that I did for him before he went. It's a, this is more of a brochure site, like if you're selling, you're selling something. Um, and he was selling a pepper spray pen. <laughs> yes, I can. I am actually looking at your pepper spray website here and what I did was I uploaded it into front page you so I could read, actually edit it listen. and it's ken1.htm so if you go to my site it's uh, red-hot-copy.com forward slash ken1.htm and the updated one will be at ken.htm which I'll get to in just a minute and what I did was I uploaded it and I kind of you know looked at it to see how scannable it is because as you know, people tend to scan first and decide later. I'm assuming that since it says you are here, pepper spray, pepper spray pen, that probably your market is already, they go, they know that they're interested in a pen. This doesn't need to be a long sales letter, which it's not. Uh, okay, why the secret advantage pepper spray pen is the favorite self-defense tool among women? Then there's, this font is so teeny tiny. I mean, I can read it and it looks okay, but... I'm, it's a little small. I would definitely raise it up uh, maybe two points. When you're scanning, you want the whole copy to kind of make sense on its own from just what's high lit, and this isn't really doing that. Why the Secret Advantage Pepper Spray is the favorite self-defense tool among women. Here's a classic example. More about pepper spray pens. How effective are these pens? Now, that might be something interesting to read. They may be drawn into that. So here are some questions you need to ask yourself. So kind of bringing it back to the person, not a bad thing to do. And I see, see there's a situation is misspelled here. I fixed it on the other page. And burgundy is also misspelled. So I check those out. And um, I'll tell you, this is actually happens to be one of my favorite topics is self-defense. You probably didn't know that. But I have a, a lot of... Uh, I have training in self-defense, and I know how women think when it comes to this kind of a product. And you got it right that they don't want to hurt somebody. And oddly enough, it doesn't matter if someone's trying to kill us. Oh, no, we don't want to hurt them. That would be awful. <laughs> so um, most bad situations start off innocent enough and grow from bad to worse. I like you're painting the picture very clearly. Then you go going into... A more dramatic picture of somebody possibly being assaulted at an ATM, uh, which is wonderful. I like this idea, not the assaulting part, but the copy <laughs> itself. You're definitely stressing that there's a problem that needs to be solved, and that's what you're supposed to do. It, it was a little choppy reading, so I kind of smoothed it out. I'll show you in the next page. Situations like this occur all the time, but it's never really addressed. Okay, great, so how do you handle it? So if I have this great pepper spray pen, there's really not a solution of how to handle that. So here's, I'll just jump to what I did. First of all, I felt that your headline should be in red or in a, a more standing out color. It doesn't have to glare. And you see I raised the font. This is 10 point, Verdana 10 point. 
Why the Secret Advantage Pepper Spray Pen is the Favorite Self-Defense Tool Among Women. I like that headline. Most dangerous situations start off in, innocently enough. So you're painting the picture of there being danger. And I also, let's look, go back to the scannability. Do you ever go to the ATM machine alone? Hmm, well... I don't know. Yes or no? Probably yes, right? I put a lot more bullets and white space in here. And um, I'll jump back to this part about uh, clarifying the scenario. When you're, I went into the ATM machine, imagine this. You're at an ATM machine in the middle of the day. It's a Sunday and you need some fast cash for shopping. No one is around when you pull into the bank parking lot and make your way to the ATM machine. You're at the machine as a large man appears around the corner and stands a little too close behind you out of the corner of your eye you see his eyes darting around the parking lot repeatedly you've already pushed the quick cash button machine and and the machine is waiting for you to confirm the amount do you a b or c so give them some choices some outcomes the truth is this is a judgment call only you can answer so that gets you off the hook and it paints the picture still so you don't lose anything situations like this occur all the time the man may be waiting for his wife or it could be worse so keep that fear going either way you feel safe because you have the secret advantage pen so see all this way we've just exacerbated that you need this pen to save yourself from different situations if we were scanning do you ever go to the ATM machine alone? Be relaxed and at ease anytime with the safest, most compact crime deterrent money can buy. And then we go on to explain what that is. It's striking and attractive. It's like James Bond spy technology. That was all good stuff. That was really good. It just needed to kind of come together a little bit. That's all. And uh, I added some more bullets here. What, what you could use that pen for. Protect yourself against And then, well, how effective are they really? Why doesn't everyone have one? So I went into some, I did a little bit, tiny, tiny bit of research. I knew that if you are underestimated as a female or as any victim, that you have a better edge to getting out of it. So I put that in the copy. Um, If you were to pull out a spray can filled with pepper spray, you would lose the element of surprise that can mean the difference between victim and victor. Catching a criminal off guard is critical to your survival when confronted with an attacker larger than you. And I bolded that because that's important. I think that could sway people to buy or not to buy. Then I explained the symptoms, which you started doing already. The first symptom is disorientation. Uh, the active ingredient is OC. And this is where I added a little extra. You need to, to see if these facts are true or not. Um, for your product. What I wrote is true. What I don't know is if it applies to your product. Any pepper spray you purchase must have an SHU rating of one to two million or more. Um, That is what is effective from the research I've done. And otherwise, it's far less effective and you have no clear advantage in a personal defense situation. The secret advantage pen makes the grade with the most potent ingredients allowed by law. So I'm explaining, I'm building up the credibility of the pen, which is important. And it's been used by police and federal law enforcement. I think you've already said this. And so these are the questions you need to ask yourself. Would I like to feel more comfortable? And would I like to have another option than being a victim? Then we just go right in for the order. If they're not ready yet, you know, I don't know what's going to sway them. So um, we have a call to action order. You may want to have more than one place to order. Since it's kind of short copy, I don't think so. Actually, I think it works well that way. They can actually just jump right over here if they're ready to order. They don't need to read another word about it. So those are, I took, you had the, the cutest little thing about, who was it? The, the daughter or somebody. The college daughter who you gave the pen to as a, as a gift. The pen is so cool, you can use it to give out your number and then you can change your mind and use it to take the number back. It's really cute. <laughs> But it's, I didn't think it was appropriate. If you think it is, you go right ahead. I, I thought it was cute. I think most women may not, uh, may not agree with me. You know, a funny little word thing happens here, too, that I didn't do on purpose. But now that I should say that I did, the secret advantage pen is a strikingly attractive. You see how this... Word keeps coming up. I think that'll make women buy. I don't know about you. But um, at any rate, that's what I got, and I hope it helps you. I will upload it and send you the link. And uh, thanks for letting me give you a hand. Take care, Ken. All right. <laughs> thanks.
so I, I have uh, I have other ones, but they're they're much longer. Uh, that was that was short copy, and uh, good. Was that helpful at all? Like to kind of see how this all comes together. Good. Well, that that's the shortest version that I had. So the other two, they're in your binder, and if you want to go online and look at them, um, they're they're definitely worthwhile. The one for Jim McMahon is on water filters. But he he um, was resistant to the whole copywriting idea that why would it make a difference? He's, he started working with me. We did a lot of change to his, uh, his copy. And now he's, he's, a, he's made huge strides in his sales as a result. And then the other one, Bernadette Doyle, is a coach. So that's more of a service product that you can look at. Um, it's actually, it's an information product, but it's, it's, you know, it's in the coaching industry. So if you're in that service-based business, and you definitely want to be selling some info products. So it's a good one to look at. And these are in, they're in your binder. We're, we're actually a little bit ahead of schedule. So I am going to show you um, part of, of either the water filter or Bernadette Doyle. Who wants the water filter? Bernadette Doyle is coaching info product. Bernadette, we're doing Bernadette. Okay. All right. All right. And and I know we're not doing the, this is me talking a lot today, but I promise you, we're I'm just laying the groundwork. You guys will definitely be putting this all into action. So don't worry. All right. Now let me just show you the um, my bio. No, I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. See, when I do these critiques, they, I show them the original letter and then the updated version. But then there are these these videos. And we probably won't watch all of them, but it's it'll get you going. It, it helps. Hey, Bernadette, it's Lori, and I'm here looking at your website. And I have to tell you that at first glance, one of the things I noticed was that it's very easy to read, very easy on the eyes to gather the information about your website. I love your picture here. It's clean. It's neat. And that's one of the first things that I pay attention to when I'm doing copy critiques or as a prospect myself is I see how um, scannable, how format friendly the website itself is and yours definitely is. So what I'm going to do right now is have a look at it from the whole entire letter from a scannability factor because studies show more and more we do tend to scan through a sales letter before we'll actually sit down and deeply read it depending on how we got there and depending on a, a myriad of things but in general it's a, a good place to start. So when I get to your page and you can see that I've uploaded this in front page and uh, so I can do some HTML editing as we go along and you can follow. So I see all this white, which is very clean and neat. And uh, your picture is ver very friendly. And I actually like that you're looking up at the person. So it's not a position of um, power, I guess, or, or of... Um, it's not the right word I'm looking for, but it's it's an open position. It's like yeah, you're I'm here to help you. It's like a receiving, and and I I love your picture. I think it's fabulous. So you've got this nice headline, all in sharp courier font. I'll show you step by step how to get paying clients within the next 30 days without cold calling, pushing, chasing, or breaking the bank. Dear friend, la la la. So I'm going to be scanning. Have you ever noticed that the more you need something, the harder it is to get? And then you have some copy. And then here's another subhead. It will help get you from desperate for clients and about to give up to attracting paying clients in about 30 days. Not having enough clients to support your business is no joke. Now, i got to tell you, that right there is when you got my attention. So we're going to come back to this, but I would consider moving this up. I, I think this is a great opening. It, it goes right to the pain of the prospect, and you don't have to do any other guesswork. Um, so, it, in fact, that's the first subhead that I read that made me want to go drop into the next sentence, worrying about bills and whether you're even going to stay in business wreaks havoc on your sanity. So you've got me here. I, I think this is definitely a candidate to be moved up. All right, and more copy. You've broken it up beautifully. You're, I'm very impressed. 
Here are just a few of the breakthrough ideas inside the Emergency Action Plan for attracting clients fast. And then you've got them nicely laid out here in a table format with the bullets. And nice, nice, nice. And then you say, don't take my word for it. Here are some, uh, uh, some testimonials. These are some people who are happy. And you've got a good deal of testimonials. Excellent. That social proof in some ways goes even further toward building your credibility, especially online, as I'm sure you know because you've used so many of them. And another point I got a – oh, this is his email address. I see. I thought it was his website, and I noticed that it's not a hot link, which I was going to actually commend you on because in a sales letter, we don't want to send people off to other sites if at all possible. We want to keep them focused where they're at right now. Um, that's interesting that so many of them have emails that are accessible and so few websites. I wonder, is that a um, an English thing or what, what's that all about? Are they like at a different place in their businesses <laughs> that they wouldn't have websites? They're just maybe starting? That's what it's saying to me that maybe they're just kind of getting started and they're not established yet, which is no problem as far as the testimonial goes. I'm just curious. That's just the way I am. All right, so we're still scooting down, and here we have a nice use of yellow highlight, special free bonuses for ordering by midnight, good call to action, and now we're looking for free bonus gift number one. We get access to a recording, oh, and look, you're selling the bonus with bullets. Fantastic. Um, just because they're, they're an odd number, I'd love to see you add like one more bullet because um, odd numbers are just a little more pleasant to the eyes for, for whatever reason, but it is a fact. So if you could, add, I'm sure you can come up with something, add another bullet. Okay, I'm going to highlight that. So in pink, those are my comments. I put them in pink so you can tell that that was me. Um, next, how to create money fast. Now, I don't know if this is a, an American thing as well, but we add an E. Do you add an E or not? I'll put this in pink so you can go back to it and let me know if that's something to be done or not. So free bonus gift number two, how to create money fast, teleclass worth $45. Excellent that you're putting the value here. Did you do that up here? No, you didn't, but let's do that because uh, don't let them connect the dots. You connect the dots for them. So I like that you did that, the value. All right, the first time I took her teleclass, I attracted a piece of business worth of $3,740 out of the blue the following day. Nice figure because it sounds very believable and um Still rounded a bit, so you don't, you know, how often copywriters will write, you know, $3,712.14. And, you know, come on. How specific do, do we really need to get? I actually like the way that you've done this. It, it is specific, but it's still rounded to a degree. Grab your copy now. Now, that is definitely a call to action, one of my favorite words to use in copy. Grab and now, both of those. All right, and 100% better than risk-free money-back guarantee. Nice. Here's the deal. Go ahead and order it. Um, I'm still scanning. And fair enough. Sincerely. And then Bernadette. Now, I'd like to see more order links here, by the way. We don't really have very many. I see one. Huh. Is that right? First order link is in the PS? Surely not. Well, if that's the case, I definitely want that to be changed. So you see, that's just the whole scanning part. That's just the very first part to see if you're going to keep connected with them. So let's go back through and add some strategic order links just right off the bat because I did notice there are not enough. They were definitely lacking. In a sales letter of this length, you want to have at least five order links. Uh, some people will tell you seven, um, but it's 
you get better results. They've done tests on that. If you give them, you just make it very easy for them. See, what happens is you break them out of a trance sort of when they're in this bind state. And even though it's just for a second, if they're, they, they decide mentally that they want to buy and that lever to buy is not right there, that may pass. And we don't want that. So here, after bullets, then you go into some testimonials, and we are then about, you can see over here, we are over halfway through the letter, and we still haven't asked for the order, which is okay because we're going to ask for it right now. Um, right before, right after that social proof, right after those testimonials, we're going to ask for it right here. Click here to order now. All right, so they, they know the benefits at this point, so they should be okay with having the option. They know there's something to buy. Now you're going to sweeten the pot. Now you've just put it out there. It's like cars. You, you've put it out there, and now you're just going to keep adding and adding to the pile and make it more and more enticing. So you have a special free bonuses for ordering by midnight. Okay, and then you've got these. And then after each bonus, I'd like you to add an order link. Okay, so there's one, and then here's another bonus. Now, we don't want to split up Carol. Order now. Um, by the way, it usually costs $45 to take Carol's total class, but this is absolutely free to you. Okay, so click here to order now. And then you could, you could even if add a hyperlink right here. Where does that go? Oh, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> okay. Where does this guy go? Hyperlink properties to client magnets. Okay. So order now. And then it's just kind of hidden. It's not in their face, but you're still getting them to... They have the option. Grab your copy now. All right. What if I'm willing to let you get your hands and review it all completely at my risk? And then you sort of launch into the better than risk-free. So I wouldn't necessarily put an order button there, although it would be okay if you did. Now, okay, fair enough. I've done every single thing I can think of to make this as easy as possible. Now it's over to you. In just a few weeks from now, you could still be enjoying the benefits. I am seeing this so you don't have to wonder. Okay. Right here. Oops. Ha. Now I have messed up my little order link copy thing. Here we go. Copy. And there you are. You have such a nice flow and such a nice style that the, the few things that I'm going to comment on are really, I mean, I'm, hopefully they'll help you, but I'm just, I'm very impressed with this letter. I, I think it's very classic flow. Um, I, I can tell from your rhythm where you're going to start doing certain things. So you're, you're definitely a good copywriter. All right, so you can actually go and, and look deeper at her letter uh, if you like, because it is a really good sample of just a real good, clean copy as something that uh, that's not cumbersome it's not going to get in in the way so these are in your in the powerpoint are we here and they're in your binder which is more important all right and um, now, what, what I want to do, we were going to do this after lunch, but I want to go around and see if anybody has any sort of aha moments yet that you want to share that have come to the surface yet. Oh, great. So we'll have a mic because we're, we're going to start Perry a little bit early, and then we're going to break for lunch, and then we'll come back after that. So Kyle has a comment. Are we going to have Perry on before lunch or after lunch? Perry's going to go on right after lunch. All right. So Mike? All up here to Kyle. Thanks. As Perry has to catch a plane, so we're doing aha moments now. Um, when, when I took the, the boot camp, I didn't really like the idea of a Ziploc bag and a swipe file. <laughs> okay. I was like, 
I don't need any more paper, and I hate junk mail. And wah, wah, wah. But I really did have a, oh, I can steal it maybe, or I can use it. So that was really helpful because I was really resistant. Excellent. Thank you, Kyle. That's great. All right, over here. I just wanted to say real quickly that if um, any of you have not had the chance to have Lori actually critique your work, I took um, advantage of her wonderful offer to do that. And as a result of that, I saw some really great success because I was then featured in the National Association of Women Writers e-zine. So it was because of some really great work that she did on my piece um, to help me along the way that it was really a catalyst in my career as well. So I just wanted to let you know that you're missing out if you haven't taken advantage <laughs> Thanks, of that. Lisa. I want to say too, it's hard for copywriters sometimes to, to put themselves on the line and let other copywriters look at their work. But so that I, I give you kudos too for saying, you know, you want to get better. And that, that's why I signed up for mentorship programs with other people too. And it's, you know, you always want to get better. Thanks. Great. Um, this is the second time I've taken your workshop, so I actually look forward to seeing junk mail now. I never thought I would. <laughs> <laughs> I have folders all set up to collect it, and I'm like, oh, good, <laughs> where I used to hate it. That's hysterical. So totally reframed my thinking that way. Um, just seeing this is the aha for me because I have a step-by-step -step process that I lead a client through, and I love this program. I'm kind of realizing, wow, I can use it to put on my site and to help support my copy to kind of lead people through and like, oh, as I talk, this is what I do. Here's Perfect. the chart, you know, step by step. So awesome. That's yes. first on my to-do list to oh, go very back. Cool. Yeah. That's it. Camtasia is at techsmith.com, T-E-C-H-S-M-I-T-H.com. And um, it's, it's a reasonable, reasonably priced program and you can do a lot with it. Yes. Watching your Camtasia program reminded me of some uh, information mapping uh, training that I had many years ago. Oh. It's not an accident that an odd number of bullets uh, feels right. They actually did studies that showed that the maximum number of concepts that a human being can absorb at once is seven plus or minus two. So somewhere between five and nine is about the right number of things to put in a list. Wow. If you get past that, that's too much. It you know, and they're not interested until they really get to about five. Oh, that's very cool. And so you can break those up into more sets of bullets. You don't yes, have to have exactly. a big, long... No, that's yeah. good information. Thank you, Tuli. Yeah. Exactly. Really? Well, what do you know? That's why we have... <laughs> well, first of all, I'm delighted that now I have a reason to buy National Enquirer. <laughs> <laughs> because I used to have to try... To scan it while I was in the grocery line, you know, but now it's research, so it's very cool. Absolutely. They can write it off, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, what I really uh, was an aha was the idea, because I always scan everything, and I didn't know that everybody does that, and the idea that everybody scans those letters and that it's a visual layout really right. made sense to me. Um, that just was a big aha. Awesome. Thank you. That's well said, too. It is. It, there is a very visual component when it comes to copy, and it does make a difference. And Christina has helped me <laughs> realize that. I had to verbalize that, too. Yes. I had a small aha that um, meant something to me because I like um, what, what appealed to me about you um, as soon as I uh, clicked on to you the first time was a, a playfulness and a, um, a certain energy, uh, I, I would oh. say, um, there's a little bit of, <clears throat> a little bit of um, well, playfulness and hide-and-go-seek and, you know, intrigue and, <laughs> and excitement and, you know, all of that. And I realized that uh, you can put that in, in scannability, that, that that's a really good thing to combine um, that energy with scannability to make it. I think so. Thank you. Uh, it, it's Scintillating. Actually, yeah. It, and I, my goal for all of you is to put your essence into your copy. And whatever your personality is and whatever is you, I want to get that out and put that in your copy because it should represent you. Hey, I have a little PS line, and I realize I'm probably not using that correctly when I just listen to you speak, is that my PS line is actually linking over to some articles I've written for Entrepreneur as a credibility factor. But it does two things. One, I think that's too late to establish the credibility that low. It should only be done earlier. And then I'm 
encouraging people to leave totally. the site instead of working on the clothes and saying, how can you, you know, you know, get this today or whatever it is, instead of saying, here's some yeah. more free information just in case you don't want to get it right now. Bye-bye. <laughs> so like, what am I doing that for? That's a great <laughs> insight, actually, because, I mean, a columnist for entrepreneur, that should be up, up high. Maybe get a picture of the magazine or something and do a column or something off to the side. You know how, how some people have, like John Carlton will have the testimonials that scan down the side. Or, so people go, wow, because that's big. That's a big deal. Don't, Awesome. I was amazed to hear that the PS is the number two read. It is number one the headline? It is the headline, absolutely. Do you, do you know what three, four is? No. <laughs> and I think it varies too because there's different formats of copy and um, usually in most copy that there is a headline and in direct response copy there is usually a PS. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I do know it's the photo caption. It's a photo caption because it's it's benign. It's not like we're selling you. We're telling you what's in the picture. But meanwhile, click my link here. You can put copy in there that that uh, gets people's attention because you know they're going to read it. But besides those three, I don't know. I'm okay. trying to remember the name of the resource as I started doing my research. Right. There is someone who's actually written um, a book that talks about humans fall into four categories of how they work with information. So you have the people who are scanners, and you can't pay them to read the paragraphs. They're not going to. <laughs> and then you have the other kind of people who are analytical, so they're constantly, they're reading everything in order to critique it. And then you have people who are getting pulled along through the pieces, and I'm, unfortunately at the moment, I don't remember I who. what you're talking about. And he has this map, this sort of four-section map, and he talks about when you write your copy, you want it to do it all so that no matter who lands there, you're right. they can do that through the site. I will try and come up with I would appreciate that. Does anyone resource. here know the, the, I know what you're talking about. Um, it, it is, it, there's four quadrants, and you're, the point is, you want to make sure that you hit all kinds of learners and, um, and how they absorb information so you have the most impact. Is there somebody else? 